and welcome back to English for You. I'm Erin, and I'm Laura, and we are talking about fun facts that have to do with outer space.、Mm -hmm. So before we start today, Laura, I want you to imagine what life might be might be like if you're living on mo- on the moon or on Mars. Difficult. <laughs> As I said, I don't want to be an astronaut, and I kind of think. What food are they gonna have? Well, they are doing experiments、uh-huh. with potatoes. Oh, really?、Mm-hmm. And what about what I see any aliens out there? I don't think so. <laughs> Not on the moon or Mars.、Oh, but, but if we eventually get to another galaxy someday,、uh-huh. maybe we would find intelligent life.、Wow. We won't find them on the moon or Mars, though. Okay. At least we don't think we're gonna find、no. them. <laughs> All right. Well, life I think would be pretty interesting for、mm-hmm. me living on Mars. I would go to. To Mars, if I could, I would be a Martian farmer or a moon farmer and、uh, figure out how to grow some moon plants or potatoes or potatoes, <laughs> potatoes in space. Why not? That sounds fun for me. Maybe not so much for Laura, but、Nuh-uh. we are going to learn about another fun fact today that has to do with being in zero gravity. So、wow. let's get there. Reading. Fun facts. Imagine paying four thousand dollars for a pencil. This is what the U.S. government did when they needed to give astronauts something to write with, and they didn't buy just one, but thirty-four of them, costing the government a fortune. Why couldn't astronauts just use an ordinary pencil? Spacecraft are contained environments. There is no way to escape if there's an accident. Something like a fire can create a fatal emergency. Additionally, a space capsule contains a large amount of fresh oxygen stored in tanks, which would explode if lit by the tiniest flame. Therefore, astronauts cannot bring with them anything that can easily catch fire on a spacecraft. This is why ordinary pencils are dangerous during spaceflight. The dusts created by the wood and lead. As well as the rubber in the eraser can easily combust in space. So, in 1965, the U.S. government set out to invent a pencil that was safe for astronauts. With all the effort that went into this new invention, each pencil cost the government an astronomical amount of money to make. What about pens, though? Regular ones don't work in space because there is no gravity to pull the ink downward. So, a special space pen was developed in 1967, and this time the cost was only six U.S. dollars each. All right, our article starts out by saying, "Imagine paying four thousand NT dollars for a pencil." I'll pass. Okay.、Mm. So, 一开始就说，哎，想象你要花怎么样，四千。应该是美元 U.S. dollars, I would say. 买一支笔哦， or it says NT dollars.、Mm-hmm. Okay, that's not that's actually not too bad compared to U.S. dollars, but still four thousand NT dollars. Very expensive. That's a really expensive pencil. I mean, I I go into the stationery store quite a bit, and、uh-huh. if I have to pay twenty five NT for a pencil,、that's、I get a、true. little annoyed. All right, well. <laughs> It says here, this is what the U.S. government did when they needed to give astronauts something to write with. Whoa, okay. 可是呢，你们知道吗？这就是美国政府他们所做的哦。当他们必须要给怎么样太空人写东西的时候，他们就是要给他将近台币四千元的一个 pencil， 一支笔，一千笔，太扯了吧 ？And you know what? It gets even、what? worse. It、mm-hmm. says. And they didn't buy just one, but thirty-four of them, costing the government a fortune. Wow, thirty-four.、Mm-hmm. Okay, that's thirty-four of those pencils <laughs> at four thousand NT dollars each.、Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we said that this costed the government a fortune. Here, a fortune is a very large amount of money. Now, thirty-four pencils that cost four thousand dollars would be about a hundred thirty-six thousand NT. But that would be in 1960s money, so、oh. that would be more than a million dollars today. Here's an example sentence: This jacket costs a fortune. I can't afford anything like that right now. Hmm. Okay, 我们来看一下 
fortune， 在本课就是指哇一大笔的钱。OK， 比方像是 he lost a fortune gambling， that's why gambling is bad，、mm. 就是他赌博输了一大笔钱。那还有什么？常常在电影当中我们看到，哎，有人可能会继承一大笔的钱。She inherited a fortune from her grandmother，、mm-hmm. 她从祖母那里继承了一大笔钱。或者是呢？哎，我们会提到名画，对不对 ？Any painting by Van Gogh is worth a fortune. 范古的任何一幅作品呢，就都值好多好多钱哦。好了，回到课文就提到，就是而且我们刚刚提到的四千元的一支笔哦，不是只有买一支哦。而美就是美国政府，他们买的是三十四支，所以他们当然花了政府好多好多钱，好一大笔钱 ，cost them a fortune. That's right. Well, I'm sure that you guys are asking the same question <laughs> that we're about to, to read in our <laughs> article. It says, "Why couldn't astronauts just use an ordinary pencil?" Good question.、Yeah. 大家可能很好奇，哎，那为什么太空人不就用一般跟我们一样用的铅笔嘞？ All right, we have an answer for you, Laura. Okay, it's not going to be answered in just one sentence. Okay, so let's be patient. It says,、mm-hmm. "Spacecraft are contained environments. There is no way to escape if there's an accident." Hmm, interesting. So, because we just talked about spacecraft, which is the spacecraft or the spacecraft of the universe. 它是它们是什么呢？是 contained environments。这里的 contained 是过去分词，当做形容词来用，表示封闭的。所以他们是处在封闭的环境啦，或是空间啦。也就是说呢，哎，如果有意外的话，他们无法逃跑。哎， they can't escape。嗯哼。So what do we mean by escape？ 嗯哼。To escape means to get away from a bad or dangerous situation. Of course, if there's a fire, you want to get away or escape from that fire as fast as possible. Here's an example sentence: The car drove into the river, but the driver and the passengers all managed to escape. 我们来看一下刚刚有出现的这个动词 escape， 就是有逃跑也有逃避的意思。比方像是 two prisoners have escaped， 就是两个犯人逃走了。更可怕的是，如果在动物园 ，a lion has escaped from its cage， 就是一头狮子呃逃出了它的兽笼。那其实 escape 呢，在口语上还有一个有可有趣的用法哦。比方，如果你说 his name escapes me， 是什么意思呢？其实就是 I have forgotten his name， 就是啊，我记不起他的名字哎。All right. We also use the word accident、mm. in that sentence. We said if there's an accident, people can't escape, or an accident like a fire, they have to stay in that environment. So an accident is an event in which something or somebody gets hurt or damaged in some way, but it doesn't happen on purpose. So、mm. this is kind of something that might happen suddenly, unexpectedly, and you don't expect it to happen. For example. There was a car accident in front of my house yesterday, but everyone was okay. Oh,、mm-hmm. okay, lucky. Okay, accident 是什么呢？就是事故，也有意外的意思。它是个名词。比方像是 John had an accident and spilled water all over his work.、Mm. John 不小心呢，把这个作业上洒的都是水。那有时候我们常常会提到 car accidents. She was injured in a car accident.、Mm-hmm. Okay, basically when a Car hit another, 就是、mm-hmm. car accident, 就是一场车祸，然后 injured 就是受伤啦。All right, so we have an example of an accident that might、right. happen in space. It says something like a fire can create a fatal emergency. <gasps> Whoa,、mm. okay. 所以呢，比方像是什么意外呢？我们提到就是类似一场大火就能造成致命的紧急情情况或是状况。Fatal 这个形容词就是致命的或是生死攸关的。All right, so we described emergency、mm. with the word fatal. So let's learn about emergency too. Now this noun is a situation, often a dangerous one, that must be taken care of right away. So emergencies are often unexpected; they happen suddenly, and you can't just say, "Oh, I'll figure it out later." <laughs> you have to do it right now. You right. have to fix it right now. Here's an example. 
I need you to come to the hospital right now. It's an emergency. Hmm. Okay. Sounds serious.、Mm-hmm. Okay. Emergency 是什么呢？就是紧急状况。它是一个名词。那大家有没有注意？常常我们看到这个逃生门啊，或者是安全出口啊，上面就会写 emergency exit， 就是安全出口。比方像是 Is the emergency exit suitable for wheel cars? 安全出口是 wheel chairs. Oh, wheel chairs. Sorry. 安全出口是和这个轮椅就是 wheel chairs 这个通行吗？又或者呢？哎，有时候呢，哎，你跟机智反应的话，你可能还会救人呢。Her quick thinking in an emergency saved the baby's life. Whoa. Okay. So important. That's right. Okay. So we see that. Because you're in this contained environment, if something bad happens, you can't get out, right? You can't、mm. escape. And it says here, additionally, a space capsule contains a large amount of fresh oxygen stored in tanks, which would explode、oh、if lit by the tiniest flame. This sounds so dangerous. I'm so glad I'm not an astronaut. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, 另外一个太空船或是太空舱呢？如果它含大量的什么呢？新鲜氧气储存在容器当中，它有一点点的火呢。这个燃烧就会怎么样？爆炸。OK， oxygen 其实就是氧气。Mm-hmm. 那 store 呢？注意哦，在本课是当做动词来用，就是储存。OK， 或者是呃，储藏在什么东西的意思。Okay, so a fire. Right.、Mm-hmm. So what we don't want is a fire in space. <laughs> right. And it says, therefore, astronauts cannot bring with them anything that can easily catch fire on a spacecraft. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Because、mm-hmm. 太空人就不能带任何会着火的东西在太空船上啦 Catch fire 在这里指的是着火的意思 All right. So let's find out. What this has to do with pencils?、Yeah. It says this is why ordinary pencils are dangerous during space flight.、Hmm. And if you think about it, what are pencils made of?、Lead. Sometimes plastic, but older ones made of wood. A、oh, wood and lead, yes,、hmm. but. Wood catches fire. I know. So, at this point, we come back to the most important point of the lesson. Everyone can see here that it has nothing to do with pencils. Because it is also why pencils in space are very dangerous. It is related to fire and fire. It will catch fire. All right. So let's find out what happens if you bring an ordinary pencil into space. It says the dusts created by the wood and lead, as well as the rubber in the eraser. Can easily combust in space. Even rubber.、Mm-hmm. Mm. All right. We talked about the noun dust in that sentence. Now, dust is an uncountable noun, but here we're talking about multiple kinds of dusts from multiple sources. So we're talking about wood dust, lead dust, rubber dust, etc. That's why we had it as a plural. Now, dust is like a fine powder made up of very small particles, like hairs, small pieces of dirt, or pieces of what the product is made of. For instance, wood dust would be powder and small pieces of wood that come from the pencils. For instance, here's an example: the dust from the whiteboard eraser in my classroom always makes me sneeze. Okay, 我们提到铅笔是什么做的 ？Wood， 木头，还有就是铅。Okay， 笔芯。Okay， 制造的粉尘，还有那个橡皮擦的 rubber， 橡皮都可以容易在大就是太空中燃烧。这里我们提到的 lead。Okay， 先来认识一下，它是名词，一般有铅的意思，但这里指的就是。铅笔的笔芯，而 dust 是什么呢？就是粉尘。For example, the furniture was covered in dust and cobwebs.、Mm. Okay, 就是家具上这个尘有充满着这个灰尘啦、啊，还有蜘蛛网哦，可能是没有人住在那边很久了。Or you could talk about the floor was covered with Dust, okay,、mm-hmm. yuck, okay. 那如果你是一个很洁癖的人，可能我在你家就会发现这种情况。There is not a speck of dust in the house.、Mm-hmm. 就是家里一尘不染。Good for that person. I know. I'm、mm-hmm. not a neat freak, so that's not my house. Right. All right. Well, let's talk about what these dusts do when they combust. 
combust. Okay,、mm-hmm. 其实就是有燃烧的意思。They will explode. That's right. Mm-hmm. They will just start to burn. They、uh-huh. catch on fire.、Yeah. All right. It says here. So in 1965, the U.S. government set out to invent a pencil that was safe. For astronauts. Ah, okay. So in 1965, the U.S. government started to invent a pencil that was safe for astronauts. Ah, okay. So in 1965, the U.S. government started to invent a pencil that was safe for astronauts. Ah, okay. So in 1965, the U.S. government started to invent a pencil that was safe for astronauts. Ah, okay. So in 1965, the U.S. government started to invent a pencil that was safe for astronauts. Ah, okay. So in 1965, the U.S. government started to invent a pencil that was safe for astronauts. They did it. It、Yay. says, with all the effort that went into this new invention,、mm-hmm. each pencil cost the government an astronomical amount of money to make. Okay, it's、mm. that four thousand dollar pencil, right? Okay, so 由于这个美国政府全力投入新的发明当中的这个努力，每支笔的制作费用使他们的花费成为天文数字啊。OK， 刚刚的句子呢，我们看到很多的文法重点。我们首先来看一下 with。With 可以接名词或者名词片语，而形成介系词片语，它放在句首当做副词使用，以修饰后面的主要子句，用来说明主要子句的条件或者是原因，表示有着啦，由于啊，或是随着什么什么。我们来举个例子会更清楚，像是 With her new blue jacket on, Helen looks very stylish. 就是 Helen 穿着她的新蓝色外套，看起来很 stylish， 很有型。又或者我可以说 ，with so many papers piled up on her desk, Julia's workspace looks messy. Okay, 这里就是指 Julia 的桌上堆了很多纸，看起来很乱。那在后半段，我们其实有用到 cost， OK？ 那 cost 呢，我们就会想到另外一个动词 spend， 是不是都可以用来表示花费金钱的意思？不过要注意，他们用法是不太一样的哦。cost 当做动词，主词应该是某个事物， OK？ 而且呢，它的动词三态超简单 ，cost 就是 cost 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 一样的哦。所以某个东西花了你多少钱，我们就可以用句型。某个东西加上 cost somebody 后面接金额，像是如果哎有个包包花了你两百元，英文就是 this bag cost me two hundred dollars。那 cost 其实还可以当做名词来用，表示费用这样子的意思哦。好了，那当我们来看回 cost 当做动词的时候，其实常常跟 spend 也是当做动词，嗯，让大家容易混淆，因为 spend 也有花费的意思。可是不同于 cost 哦，它的主词 ，OK， 注意哦，因为它是花钱的人，所以主词就是要是人 ，OK， 来花多少钱，所以你可以是 I 或是某一个人 spend 多少钱 on 什么东西。我们来举个例子 ，I spend a lot of money on clothes and food， 就是我花很多钱在衣服跟美食上，这是千真万确。Now we also saw the phrase、mm-hmm. "go into something,"、mm-hmm. 就是有花费或是用于这样的意思哦。That's right, and、uh-huh. we also saw the noun "invention." Right. Okay, so an invention is a useful thing that someone has thought of or made for the very first time. Now, everything we use now and think is normal, of course, was once a new invention,、mm. including our smartphones.、Mm-hmm. All right. So it says here, what would life be like? Without recent inventions like the smartphone or the computer, I don't think anybody can survive. No, <laughs> you'd be okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think I can try. Okay. Inventions is 什么呢？就是发明，就是发明物也是，它是一个名词哦。像是如果呢，哎，你可能觉得我们的智慧型手机 ，it's the most amazing invention， 就是非常了不起的发明。Or we could talk about the world changed、mm-hmm. rapidly after the invention of smartphones.、Mm-hmm. 没错，智慧型手机发明后，世界怎么样的
变化日新月异哦 ，a lot of change.、Mm-hmm. Mm. Of course, Laura, we did also see a bit of a play on words in that、That's、sentence. That's right. What did we mean by astronomical? Right, because astronomy is astronomy. But in here, we are playing a word game. 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 这样的意思，还有天文数字的这两个含义，是不是很有趣呢？双关语 ，pun。That's right. right. A play on words or a、mm-hmm. pun. Those astronomical prices. All right. So you're thinking, we've got all these pencils and they're、yeah. so expensive. What about pens? That's a good.、Mm-hmm. I wanted to ask that. 就是不能用铅笔，那就用原子笔呀。嗯 And the question in our article says, what about pens, though? 嗯，所以就是说，哎。那么这个原子笔呢 ？Okay. Okay. Well, there's a good reason that we're gonna talk <laughs> about here. It says regular ones don't work in space because there is no gravity to pull the ink downward. <laughs> Duh! I forgot about that gravity. Okay. So, 普通的原子笔。也不能在太空中用，为什么呢？因为没有 gravity， 没有地心引力，把这个墨水往下拉。Downward 这个副词就是朝下、向下。That's right. Okay, so regular pens don't work.、Right? Do the pens cost four thousand dollars each? Fortunately, not. Our article says so. A special space pen was developed in 1967, and this time the cost was only six U.S. dollars each. Wow, that's a huge difference.、Mm-hmm. 所以一个特殊的原子笔就在一九六七年发展出来喽。不过这次呢，一直价格只有拉扣六元。Okay,、mm-hmm. cheap. Cheaper. All right. So I guess if you're going to space and you want to write something down. Take a pen with you, not a <laughs> <Right> . pencil. <laughs>、mm. All right. Well, that's the end of our fun facts article for this month. We'll be back in a second with our for you chat. So don't go anywhere. For you chat. All right. Our for you chat question today: What other types of things? Do you think won't work in space, and why? Straws. Okay. Because you need to suck that liquid. And speaking of、mm-hmm. liquids, maybe showers、mm-hmm. or even washing machines. Yeah. How do they wash、mm-hmm. their clothes? Um, I don't know. Even going to the toilet. Well, I, they don't have toilets like we have here. <laughs> okay. Have, so basically, anything that has to do with water or、mm-hmm. other liquids. Hmm. They, do, they don't work.、I、you can't、know. can't drink from a cup.、Nope. Can't wash your hands in a sink、mm-hmm. because the water and the liquid would just go everywhere. And okay, make a big mess. What and else? Our editor Andrew、mm-hmm. highly suggests darts、oh. or even games, chess games.、You、definitely don't want to throw <laughs> darts around in space. I know space. that could that, be dangerous. That sounds like you're trying to kill somebody. I know. You're playing a chess game. Everything's gonna go everywhere. In that case. All board games.、Out. Oh, I know、mm-hmm. because you can actually see. <laughs> oh, just flying around like, everywhere. Interesting.、Mm. That'll be fun, though. Just, all right. Well, I suppose、yeah. you could glue all them all down. <laughs> okay.、But. Anyways, what else do you think can't be used in space or won't work in space?、Mm. Things that we think you can are easy、yeah. to use. Maybe not work in space. So you guys can talk about this. We are finished for today. So、uh, for English for you, I'm Erin, and I'm Laura. Bye bye. Fun facts. Imagine paying four thousand dollars for a pencil. This is what the U.S. government did when they needed to give astronauts something to write with, and they didn't buy just one, but thirty-four of them, costing the government a fortune. Why couldn't astronauts just use an ordinary pencil? Spacecraft are contained environments. There is no way to escape if there's an accident. Something like a fire can create a fatal emergency. Additionally, a space capsule contains a large amount of fresh oxygen stored in tanks, which would explode if lit by the tiniest flame. Therefore, astronauts cannot bring with them anything that can easily catch fire on a spacecraft. This is why ordinary pencils are dangerous during spaceflight. The dusts created by the wood and lead 
as well as the rubber in the eraser, can easily combust in space. So, in 1965, the U.S. government set out to invent a pencil that was safe for astronauts. With all the effort that went into this new invention, each pencil cost the government an astronomical amount of money to make. What about pens, though? Regular ones don't work in space because there's no gravity to pull the ink downward. So, a special space pen was developed in 1967. And this time, the cost was only six US dollars each. Vocabulary Review Fortune The wealthy man's fortune went to his only daughter after his death. Escape In her dream, Meg ran through the halls and rooms of her house to escape the monster. Accident my bus was in a bad accident on my way to work today. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Emergency The teachers are trained to deal with emergencies, such as fires and earthquakes. Dust Every book in the old library was covered in a layer of white dust. Invention My new invention makes it possible to breathe underwater for more than 24 hours. The上节目是由活用空中美语制作。活用空中美语杂志，请洽询全国各大书店。如欲索取视听教材，请来电 02-2364-4000，02-2364-4000，或上网查询，网址是triple w dot